What's up guys? It's your boy Jimmy Jams back in the house. Today's video is on R. Kelly and the beatdown he took back in August. Guys, we're giving away some money here on Jams TV to one lucky subscriber. When we hit 500 subscribers, we're giving away $100. And when we hit 1,000 subscribers, we are giving away $100. Okay, and all you have to do is share this video and be subbed to the channel. And uh, if you're new here, make sure you Kung Fu Chop that subscribe button. Give this video a like. Ring the bell for notifications. And feel free to share this ugly face right here on any social media platform that you choose. Okay, in July of 2019, R. Kelly was arrested on 18 federal counts. Them charges include things like human trafficking, possession of child pornography, and kidnapping. R. Kelly is going to be gone a long, long time. Now, in August, R. Kelly was attacked by another inmate in the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Chicago. The attacker's name was Jeremiah Farmer. He is the person responsible for the beatdown that R. Kelly took. Now, R. Kelly's lawyer spoke out, and it's sort of similar to what's going on with Kodak Black. He's saying that the guards are directly involved in this, that they're encouraging and allowing inmates to try to hurt R. Kelly. R. Kelly's lawyer is claiming that his client suffered physical and psychological serious injuries from this beatdown that he took in prison. Here's the big kicker. Back in August, when the assault occurred, the guard broke it up almost immediately. Now, x-rays showed that R. Kelly didn't have any fractures, any breaks, or no injuries at the time. Now, R. Kelly's lawyer wants an evidentiary hearing. You know, they're doing everything they can to try to get R. Kelly out, but it don't seem to be working. R. Kelly is accused of some serious, serious crimes. One of these crimes alone could put you away for the rest of your life, and he has 18 counts of it. Now, there's been reports come out that R. Kelly himself has been uh, intimidating witnesses, right? Because he don't want to spend the rest of his life in prison, and he's spending up all his money trying to fight this in legal fees and court. Even if he got out, he would be absolutely broke. But the chances of R. Kelly getting away with this is not going to happen. R. Kelly, I would save some of that money for canteen. If your boy Jimmy Jams was you, I'd be saving that money for canteens. But at the same time, your boy Jimmy Jams wouldn't have committed all them crimes against young ladies, child pornography, human trafficking, among other things. Horrible, horrible crimes, guys. So in the comment box down below, you guys let me know what you think about R. Kelly, what you think about R. Kelly getting the beat down, right? And uh, make sure you subscribe to his channel, give us a like, and please share us on your Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I am your boy, Jimmy Jams. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.